it is 5.11, just pulled into the office, going to walk you through a day in the life, uh, a work, work day with me, and kind of what that looks like. A lot of changes, as you can imagine, uh, due to COVID. I start my day at the office, a very big critical part of what I do has to still be done uh, at the office or the dock and I'll kind of explain that later but I do have to start my morning here and then I will eventually head back home and work from home for the remainder of my day um, I used to solely work out of the office but with COVID it just makes more sense and it's safer to work from home and not be in an office where it can be congested or just a lot of interaction um, also the biggest reason really is to uh, if there is a spread or someone tests positive then it helps in contact tracing uh, because if you eliminate the interactions or the amount of people that have contact with said person then you don't have so many people that have to be out for a certain amount of time so it's um, safer for myself safer for my family but it's also safer for others as well to eliminate that contact but I do have to start my day at the office I typically get here around this time and the first thing that I do is I'm going to take a COVID screening test. I go through a series of the same questions daily that range from have I traveled internationally? Am I showing any symptoms? Uh, have I tested positive? Has anybody in my household tested positive? Has anybody in my household had to quarantine due to symptoms of COVID? Um, they're all the same questions as the health screening tool on the CDC. So I answer those. Um, I get a green check and then when I get to work someone will scan me uh, for my temperature and if I pass that then I get to enter the building and start my day um, just is what it is it, you know that's our new new way of doing things um, but yeah so I'm gonna take you through my work day, what that looks like from the time that I open my eyes at 3.25 a.m. to the point where I literally pass out. If you ask Janet, she'll tell you I pass out at 8.45. That is not far from the truth. Um, but when you start your day that early, it's really hard to, uh, to stay up past 9 o'clock. So hang out with me. I'll take you through what a work day looks like how I fit working out in and other parts of my day, trying to find the balance, navigating the new norm, and what I eat in a day. So you'll get to see all of that. So I will catch up with you soon. All right, back home to finish off the rest of my day, but we're gonna start with meal one. So one thing about navigating in this new norm is when you can find consistency and things that make you feel more normal, stick to that. So for me, that's my first meal of the day is usually consistently the same, except for maybe on the weekends. So I start with uh, one cup of egg whites and one egg and a bowl of oats and literally Monday through Friday that's what I'm gonna eat uh, the consistency keeps me on track with my macros and with training and then on the weekends sometimes I'll change it up but it helps keep things normal so 
gonna get into that cook that up eat that and then it'll be right up to my home office and right back to work So, what the heck do I do? A lot of people don't actually know what I do, and that is by design. Uh, people may or may not know what company I work for, but I don't ever really go into detail on what it is that I do for, for work and for the company. Uh, because I have one of those jobs that's actually easier done than said. Um, but, without going too much into detail and confusing people, Every big box retailer that sells major appliances usually... Hey! What the heck? Shh. Go over there. Every major big box retailer that sells appliances usually contracts out the delivery services or installation services. They usually don't just run it out of their own building. That's where I come in. I manage those third-party contracts to help assist, get out products and installations for people like you. So, in doing that, uh, that is why I have to go to the dock or the warehouse in the morning. I work very closely with supply chain and logistics and I have to be there to make sure that all of the trucks get out on the road, all of the product gets onto the trucks, and gets out to the customers that are expecting that for the day. So I have to be there. Um, and then I can finish the rest of my day from home. So this is a new norm for me. Uh, whenever everything shut down and everything was first happening during COVID slash pandemic, I had to learn how to adapt to finding my balance of going in early in the morning and then coming and working from home. Working from home is not as easy as people like to make it out to be or as fun. One thing that I would say I have had to learn how to do is finding the on and off switch. So for me, I'm blessed and lucky enough to have a actual office space. Uh, which allows me to, when I'm in here, I am working. And then when I leave this room, then I am at home and have my home life. For some people who can't do the on and off, the line gets blurry and you feel very stressed because you're never actually away from work. So for me, that is one thing I've had to learn during these times is that... I am here, I am doing work, I am fully focused and engaged in work, and then when it's about time to wind down, which is typically around 5, 6 o'clock, and I leave this room, then it's home. It's home life, and I can detach and turn off from this world. Um, so I would give that as a, a little thing of advice if you are now working from home, is learn how to uh, not have those lines blurry. Work is work, home life is home life. Try to keep those separate however you have to do so. So typically once I'm back into my office, it's engagement, uh, whether that be all the back end stuff, a lot of teams, call meetings throughout the day, um, and then just working through that. I take breaks, I will take a lunch, uh, just to kind of get away from the screens and so and then around four I will go work out and around five or six I usually am done with the screens I do have to somewhat still be available but it, that is about the time that I'll start cooking and then Janet will get home around 6 30 and we will spend time together or the rest of the evening together uh, and then wind down so that is going to be my day. Um, take you along for the ride. Um, but 
I got work to do, so I'm gonna get to it. I'll see y'all later. Alright guys, meal two. So I meal prepped uh, all of my lunches for the week yesterday, uh, just to make life easier. Um, I'm currently still on work calls, so if I hadn't meal prepped, I'd be still sitting up in the office, hungry, and having to think about what I could make. So meal prepping definitely helps for days like these, where I can't just come over here and make something, or uh, get something so meal no prep for the win going to have some ground turkey broccoli and those are chickpeas um, chickpeas are actually one of my favorite things good source of protein good source of fiber and honestly I just really like the taste of it uh, mix that all together throw some hot sauce and I've got meal number two um, unfortunately today I'm probably going to end up having to eat this while at my desk on calls and working. <laughs> Now officially step away and out of my office for a bit. It is 4.32 and I am calling it a wrap. The only other things I may do is check in periodically on emails, um, but that is pretty much a wrap for the workday. I'm going to leave this office and let's go work out. I need to get some activity into my life, go crush a workout. Just made an appointment for 24 hour fitness since you have to make appointments now. Uh, so, I'm gonna go get changed and I'm gonna go do that. Thanks for hanging out with me at the work place, and I'll see you at the gym. Looks like Janet brought me some food home for meal three. Uh, what do we got here?
kebabs. All right, guys, that is it for me. I'm gonna call it a day, wind down, relax. Thank you for hanging out with me today. That is a day in the life. I do get up at 3.25 in the morning and do cardio. I do work out again at some point in the day. I fully engage in my work. I love my work. And I also practice balance. So when I'm not working, it's time for the other things in my life, such as my wife, my dogs, and all the other cool stuff. Every day doesn't have to be what Instagram shows you, which is flights and trips and all of these things don't be fooled everybody's living a day in the life wake up every day make good choices spend time wisely do what you love and be kind to those around you thanks for hanging out hit subscribe hit like and we'll see you in the next one Bye.